Hello and welcome to At Home with Anita Rosner. If you're joining us for the very first time, welcome. And if you are a regular viewer, welcome back. If you haven't finished your Christmas shopping yet, I know you probably think you're in a lot of trouble, but I'm here to help because today I'm gonna to show you how to make my delicious cherry almond snowball cookies. You can whip them up and give them as a gift. You didn't think I was gonna go shopping for you, did you? No. Sorry. <laughs> I made the dough last night. Let me show you how I did that. When you turned the dough out of the mixing bowl, you might have found it to be a little dry, but all you have to do is just warm it with your hands and shape it a little bit. It'll come together because the warmth of your hands will soften the butter. All right, so when you take it out of the fridge, it's going to be pretty hard, so you need to let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes at room temperature. And then all we're going to do is roll them into a ball and place them on a greased cookie sheet. I'm using silicone baking pads, but if you don't have these, uh, just make sure you grease your cookie sheets before you bake them. This recipe is actually based on Mexican wedding cookies. I don't know if you've ever had those. They're pretty good. This is my own recipe for you because I care and it's the season of giving and while we're on the subject how about you give me a thumbs up it's that button right there it's right there just hit it won't cost you a thing but you'll feel good about it because I'm doing it all for you I'm doing it all for you normally when I bake for my family, I, I don't worry about lighting and sound. I just bake. But this is for you. This is special. So give me a thumbs up. Please. As always, the recipe will be down in the description. I just want to make sure that you noted we did not use all the powdered sugar in the dough. No, no. Only a quarter of a cup. The rest is for later. You'll see. You'll see what we're going to do with the rest of that sugar. We're going to make snowballs. You may have also noticed that this is an egg-free recipe. So if you have someone in your family who's allergic to eggs, they can enjoy these without a second thought. And if you use a plant-based butter substitute, you can make them vegan. How about that? So I'll pop these in the oven while they're baking. I will make a second tray and then we're going to turn them into snowballs. All right, as soon as these come out of the oven, we are going to put them in our powdered sugar. They're really hot. 
So be careful, and they're soft. Just a little brown on the bottom. Come on. All right, we have to be fearless here. Do a few at a time. Just roll them in the sugar. And then you put them on a wire rack and let them cool completely. Now that our cookies are completely cool, you could roll them again in the remaining powdered sugar, or you can just let it snow on your snowballs. And then arrange them on a dessert plate. These are literally melt-in-your-mouth cookies. They are soft and buttery and delicious. You will love them. I hope you try them. Come back and see me again. Leave me a comment while you're giving me a thumbs up. And I hope you become a subscriber. Until I see you again, I hope you have a very healthy holiday. Stay safe. Merry Christmas.